an urgent meeting is called. I must tell you, I'm, I'm proud of you. Not many universities can claim to have the caliber of leadership that you guys provide. So let's, let's meet. Rhodes University's student profile does reflect the demographics of the country, but only seven out of nearly 60 full-time professors are black. We need to have a university where there's academics that are coming from the black sphere, that, that black academics are attracted to be at this university. We're also talking about the fact that our curriculum must transform to meet our past, our history, appreciate our history to translate to our present. The black students' movement, once the university's name changed, it was named after Cecil John Rhodes, after the Rhodes Trust donated 50,000 pounds in De Beers shares to build the institution in 1904. We are dealing with a situation where a public institution, a place of learning, is still named after a colonialist who literally has correctly said, stole the land of our people, dispossessed our people, not just of land and the economy, but of our very humanness. These students say they're faced with racism daily. You know, when black students talk about racism within their, 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 their work, you often then told that, no, that, that's, exper that's experience. It's not academic. You need to qualify it with something. Whereas white students, they have free reign. They can mm -hmm. say and do what they want. The university says transformation is a work in progress. University education, by its very nature, is transformative. So it is, it is something that we, we need to accelerate. And again, I think the institutional forum will be very helpful in this regard. And the events that have taken place are really forcing us to double and redouble our efforts to advance the issue of transformation. The students say they'll continue raising the issue until they see change. Sandy McCowan, Grahamstown, Eastern Cape.